I'm back. You know how you there are those little uh, metal uh, tags. I mean, it's silver, and I've only seen silver ones. I don't know if they come in a base metal or not. They're little tags that you can have stamped with your name or your logo or whatever and you attach them to your finished pieces. Have you ever seen those things? You guys know what I'm talking about? You know how expensive they are, right? Well, I heard about an alternative to that and I decided to check it out and oh my god, I am so excited. Look at this. Look at this. How cute is that? Can you see that? Is this like foggy? So adorable. Look how tiny that is. Dinky, 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 dinky. I got a hundred of these for 24 bucks. Is that awesome or what? This guy's name is Ed. He has a shop on Etsy called Laser Cut. He's outstanding to work with. Just the nicest guy you ever want to meet. Gets back to you right away. Um, just a super nice guy. And so I was inquiring about this and he, he pointed me in direction of the, the $24 for 100 and I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't. Um, I just love him. He makes, I should have asked him, I, uh, I don't know if I find out I will post it, but I don't know if he makes super custom shapes, like if you wanted um, like a letter cut out or a word or, you know, a shape other than simple geometric. Um, I'll post it though, if he tells me. Look at this little ruler. This has his company name on it, which is just laser cut. So cute! I mean, just darling! And you attach these to your finished work and you have a, a little, uh, you know, a little branding uh, option here. So cute! Really nice. So I attached one just to some wax cord I had around here. Put it on this craft case that I made for you guys. Really darling. He, um, this is his business card, laser cut. He sent me some keychains that he makes as well. They all have little holes in them, too. <laughs> so cute. They still have the paper. The paper peels off. I don't know if he engraves them with the paper on or he takes it off first. I don't know. Comes in different colors. Um, when I get more, and I'm totally getting more, I'll probably get black. Let's see about getting black next time. But you peel this paper off, and you've got the clear acrylic underneath. So cute. And, you know, just regular the, the uh, ball, ball chain that, and link for the keychain. I mean, you could get a lot of information on this. Look at how tiny he got the word beads on this thing. Practically microscopic. It's so dinky. Just imagine all the information you're going to get on that. Tons. I love ovals. I can't help it. I don't know why. I love them. He's in New Jersey. Uh, he ships worldwide. Um... He has an art fire store too. I'm gonna to post all those links underneath. Just so I'm I'm so excited. I just love them. So cute. So oh my gosh. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. He could probably get I don't know what kind of artwork he would need. You'd have to contact him and see. Um I don't know if it's like all the other mm, processes out there kind of I'm not real familiar with laser cutting but maybe he'll need vector artwork from uh, 
Illustrator or Corel Draw, something like that. You can make uh, pretty good vector art from even uh, cheaper, cheaper drawing programs in like EMF. An EMF format is vector. Um, oh, so cute. I'm really happy. Thank you so much, Ed. These are wonderful. For Christmas, you can make, think you can make little Christmas uh, your tags for your presents. So cute. You could probably put little logos on them. I know you sure. I'm, I'm sure you probably could. I can't get over how tiny he got the letters. I'm just amazed. I really am. I'm forgetting anything. I don't think so. So check him out. Uh, like I said, links below. And I managed to make that earring in a 16 millimeter button. See, I should have played with this before I made that other video yesterday, huh? Came out really nice. This is a 16 millimeter button, and the ones I made yesterday are 12 millimeter. I like both sizes for earrings. I do. But this 16 millimeter really was awesome. You can really see the netting a whole lot better with that. Super nice. So if you want to see how I adjusted that pattern yesterday to make this earring, let me know. I'll post it. I don't care. I'm working on a <laughs> bracelet that I saw in um, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, which YouTube graciously aired. It was awesome. I probably spent two days sitting in front of my computer just watching the fashion show. It was so amazing. But my favorite was, well, they were all great, but I really um, fell in love with Nicholas K. Nicholas K's accessories. Wow. She made a cuff with huge slabs of agate. And I am not able to find a decent picture of it yet. I hope someone, I don't know if she even made them for sale or if it was just for the show. Hopefully she'll make them for sale because dang girl, I want to see this thing. Beautiful. Um, so I'm trying to do a, a, a a take on that cuff bracelet not with a giant slab of agate which I could get I just but I do have some big round pieces swirly pieces of uh, uh, polymer clay cabs that I made so I'm trying to figure out a way oh you should see that I mean it had a long fringe on it so, which is awesome so anyway that's what I'm working on now but if you want to see this earring let me know I'll do it Give Ed a try. You really, you just got to. You just do. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. <laughs> That's it for this weekend. I, hopefully I'll see you next weekend. If I figure that bracelet out, I'll definitely be back. And <clears throat> stay happy. Stay inspired. Bye-bye.